Hi guys, once again this is Alfred from BinaryOptionsTutor.com here today with another Binary Options Nugget. Today I'm going to be talking about round numbers and whole numbers. Uh, what are round numbers and whole numbers? Uh, they're just simply here we've got an hourly chart. There's not a lot of volatility uh, on any of the Forex pairs right now. It has been that way for some months. So, uh, I had to use an hourly chart to show you uh, a fair amount of uh, round numbers and whole numbers. And uh, here we've got 1.3390. Uh, price action, we can see a lot of rejection around this line, around this level. We see we've broke this level right here. There is a bit of news going out and a lot of weakness in the dollar right now uh, due to uh, an airstrike in uh, Iraq so that's probably what's caused all of this uh, aggressive move up that we've seen this huge breakout here that we've seen to the upside um, another thing uh, is whole numbers while we see the round numbers are 1.33 90 80 33 70 60 you probably get the picture from there um, there are whole numbers, uh, 1.3400, and this would be a whole number, obviously, if we could zoom this chart out, we'd see 1.35, uh, 1.3600, 1 etc. Uh, why are these numbers important? These are really, probably more so than anything, just psychological numbers. Uh, often, what will happen is a lot of uh, even the institutional guys will set their targets at these uh, round numbers or whole numbers because they're great to uh, if you're looking for it at 50 pip 100 pip plus move the just set your exits there uh, unfortunately a lot of uh, retail traders will sometimes set their stops around these numbers again no not that they're necessarily significant for any other reason than psychologically, but what you'll often find is that uh, if you're setting stops around these numbers, then sometimes, and on spot, sometimes they'll just get popped, and then you'll see uh, the market reject back under that uh, that round or whole number. Like, we, we see a very aggressive wick here, but we see we came off of it, even with the own shoot of the recent news um, we've set up an indicator custom indicator that will denote the round numbers that will denote the whole numbers we've also got a little statistical data over here for you 30 day average swing up and a 30 day average swing down uh, this is just how much we're going to be swinging up on a day how much we're swinging down on a day uh, how much we've swung <laughs> on that uh, current day and we've set out some targets uh, how what what if if we do the average swing up what would that be and on this particular day it would have been 1.33704 um, on the upside uh, on the bottom it's been 1.33259 uh, on the bottom side you can see we've burst right through that target we what we done was take that target and take the next round number above that target. This is usually a good place to look for some rejection. And uh, we saw some rejection uh, some hours ago around that number. But on the onslaught of this news uh, about what's going on right now with the airstrikes, uh, you see we burst that number uh, aggressively inside of this five minutes. We went right through that number, we went right through the next uh, round number, and we went right through the next, even that subsequent whole number. We did finally wick before we reached that next uh, round number here. But round numbers and whole numbers are just a simple tool that you can use and uh, often uh, have some pretty good ideas of some areas of support and resistance. And uh, you can confirm that by looking over your chart. Remember, we're always looking at our top chart. 
and you've got some quick statistics right here for you on our chart with uh, the average swing up the average swing down uh, we, I have it set by default to 30 days uh, we've used 30 day swings uh, a lot but you can go into this indicator and uh, change it to whatever uh, swing data you're looking for and you can get the average swing up and the average swing down now what the largest swing is within that particular time period which is also something that's very helpful especially on a day when there's a big news event you know and because you want to know what's the largest move that you've seen over that span of 30 days or even 60 days etc and you can use these statistics when you're building your trading plan it's just a really candy indicator uh, we've denoted some of these lines here this blue the blue line this blue line down here would have been a, a place where we've surpassed the average swing the average 30 day swing and we would have been approaching the round number on the day you see we never made it down to there because as I'm recording this there is a lot of weakness in the dollar across the board a lot of concerns uh, due to geopolitical issues uh, but you can see uh, psychological or not there's just been a lot of rejection around that 1.3390 uh, level these round numbers and whole numbers are great to use on platforms like Nadex uh, because uh, a lot of their uh, predefined strikes are set around these numbers uh, round numbers and whole numbers are a great little simple uh, tool to have on your side when you're speculating uh, in binary options and you can see just several times over that rejection and that reaction right around these exact round numbers and whole numbers it's also uh, great to use in combination with other strategies so that's all this nugget was about today just round numbers and whole numbers i'm going to put a link to this indicator this custom indicator that we've done it'll be free and on our site at binaryoptionstutor.com thanks everyone for listening in and uh as always if we've helped you please help us like share comment and subscribe uh, drop into the site let us know how you're getting on with these indicators uh, we love to hear from you and uh, thanks again for listening once again this is Alfred from binaryoptionstutor.com